What's up, everybody? Argyle Alligator him. We're back here with more Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. Gearing up to fight one of the Elder Dragons today called the Hollowed Gen Moran. They have a... He has a lower level version of himself just called the Gen Moran, but um, this is the special purple one. He's a little tougher. And this fight is very different from anything else in uh, Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. So, uh, off the bat, they give us items, which is different for high level... Situations and I'm using heavy bow gun today, which is a giant fucking gun with this goddamn thing. We're gonna get on purse shots, load them up, and get out there. And I'll show you how this is so different. So you're not in a map, you're not in an arena, you're on a fucking boat, <laughs> gliding on the sand. It is a sand boat, and there he is, the hollowed Jen Moran himself. Now, we've got people here, uh, I'm heavy bowgun, the other guy's heavy bowgun, we're shooting this fucker, and they are just hanging out using ballistas, there's also cannons you can load on the ship, you can pull them in with a whole bunch of stuff, we're just launching at him some, uh, some shots as he inches his way over here, he can attack us on the boat, and there's, uh, a lot of things that happen during the fight, so I can help this guy load up some cannonballs if I want to. Carry this cannonball over to the cannon, drop that in, shoot him in the face. I'm gonna go get some more. And as he gets close, the melee will start to attack him. Um, and he's gonna do a swipe. Okay, oh, they stopped him. He can swipe over the whole boat, and it can be a huge pain in the ass. And uh, I think a. Oh boy. Okay. He can do a lot of damage if you are not careful. Tremendously worried of him all the time. Launching shots into him. See, now at that point, we can do this, folks. We can go ahead and we can jump onto him and climb up onto the monster if we want. We can uh, go. We can mine him a little bit for some resources that we can use. I'm gonna mine him a little bit just because I need some of the resources. Uh, you can also attack him at different locations here. I think, am I out of, what, what the fuck am I doing? Uh, I don't think I'm out of picks. Okay. Whoa, boy. He'll throw you off and thrash you a bit, too. Oh, boy. That guy almost got knocked off. Okay, here we go. What's mine? Get some more. Whoa, buddy. All right, got a shard. You can break these areas here. Uh, melee can break them and attack him on the inside to open up a weak point if they want to. I'm just going to run around and keep mining him more in the beginning of the phase here. Because uh, nothing really serious is happening. Uh, at least not yet. So there are these little weird things here. I think that's it. I'm going to try to get back on the boat. See you later. Right, I'm back on the boat. Help out my bowgun brother. Look at that heavy bowgun he's got. It's badass. I love that heat bowgun. Oh, that ammo. Best reload. Why is he not attacking? Oh, he wants his tunas. The guy gave me his freaking tuna earlier in the game. Um, and uh, he gave him a hold. Give these pin tunas. Dude, I'm giving, I'm trying to give them to you. Kick me. Take your fucking tuna. Damn, dude. Guy gives me a stack of fish so he can make ammo and then fucking kicks me when I don't give it to him fast enough. I'm gonna save these pierce ammos for later. They are important to use, especially on this boss, because Pierce does multiple shots the longer the monster is. All right, he's gone now, um, and he will reappear, usually on different sides, but he's reappeared on that side. This is an opportunity for melee to attack. I'm going to fire these into him. They are shots that embed themselves and explode, just like Light Bowgun. Oh my goodness, got hit by a fucking rock, and Fisher on board, too. The fish will come on board and knock you around, but I need to take this moment to heal my silps. There we go. Okay, he's very majestic and he's doing huge 
jump into the sky, and he landed on the other side. So he's a big, majestic narwhal. I think he's a narwhal. I consider him a narwhal. A narwhal with two horns. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. He might do a horn swipe. Doesn't fucked because that will hit me. His mouth is his weak point, so it's good to get him in the mouth. Load that back up. So uh, I think I might have got a little derailed earlier, but uh, what we're talking about weapon types. Heavy bow gun is kind of like light bow gun, except it's underslung. Oh wait, the other one's underslung. It doesn't matter. Uh, you move slow with it. Uh, you can't really move as fast as you can with the light bow gun. It does not have rapid fire, but it does have this kind of crouch shot. I can't really show you it. It's where you get down on one knee and you don't need to reload. You basically just load them, but you can't move with it on. I have something called the limiter removed, so I can't do crouch shot. He, he's going to go into crouch shot, and I'll show you. Uh, he just got hit by his own ballista, so I'm not going to show you that right now. I don't know what he's waiting to do. Fire another guy. Alright, we're gonna get out of here now. Get some different shots on. Ooh, that was close. Okay. He does crouch shot, I will point it out when he does it. Basically, you go into crouch shot with A and X. And with that, you uh, don't need a reload. You just keep firing into the guy. There you go. He's doing it right now. He's on one knee. You can just keep firing. Don't need a reload. And uh, you need to push B to get out of it. But it's very slow to get out of it, to get in and out of it. And I just removed something called the limiter from the gun, which gives me more uh, damage and a higher clip rate. And... Uh, I don't really go in a crowd shot because I've been fighting a lot of monsters with high mobility lately, and it didn't seem useful. You can always add the limiter back on if you remove it. Oh my god. That could have been bad. Oh, looks like we got to really heal now. Alright, let's get the chips. Throw on a Mega Potion. Should be good to go. Oh my god. I thought he was going to swipe again. Friend is going to keep laying into this boy. load up. I really like the heavy bow gun. I'm having a good time with it. It just does a buttload of damage. And as Monster Hunter experts say, any engagement can be trivialized with the heavy bow gun. That's how powerful the heavy bow gun is. Fucking fish. Fish always in my way. I'm going to keep laying into him while the melee are on the back. and They're cutting holes into him and then attacking the holes. The holes create new weak points on him. You can break the horns as well, but I think we need higher explosives to do so. We need the hunting gong. Not really sure what that does yet. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff on this boat to do. There's also a retractable spear on the front of the boat that you can use too called the Dragonator. It's best to use it though when you get to the second phase of combat. We're still in phase one right now, fighting him on the boat here. It might be a little long, so I'm not really sure what's going on. I think this guy's crafting more ammo. I'm just firing regular shots and saving everything I got for the second round. Okay. Um, oh yeah, if you get knocked off the boat too, you have to climb back on... Uh, I'll show you that one now, just for fun. <laughs> you get knocked on the boat, you gotta climb back on like this. Uh, you basically just keep tapping A and you'll get on there. I don't even know if you need to tap A, I just kinda do. But uh, you'll get back on, and then you'll come into the starting area of the boat. Just to show you that real quick. So, and, you know, whatever. We'll just grab all the stuff. Why not? If people aren't going to use it, I'll use it. Alright, now we're back on the boat here. I'm going to eat a ration for some stams. And uh, now we're just waiting for the Gen Moran to show himself. I'm gonna grab a cannonball while we're at it. Let's see where he shows up. Wow, I did not notice how pixelated the shine effect on that cannonball was. Ooh, did that just go through? Oh my god, holy shit. I was not expecting him to do that. Please don't let me die. Oh my goodness. 
Okay, there's a fish. Eat the chips. Oh my god, I did not think that was gonna happen on that. I've never really been around for that. Okay, now's a good time to get some cannonballs. So, it also doesn't matter if your teammate's getting a cannonball, the cannon can fire as quick as possible. Like that, and then again, see? Just like that. So, go grab another one. And then we're gonna keep going at him with the cannons. And hopefully we'll get to phase two pretty soon. Oh, that was close. That could've really hurt. Alright, let's pull out the guns. with him. I love that. That heavy bowgun he has is badass looking. Mine looks like a fucking feathered angel. We got chicken wings on the back of this thing. We're all gonna fire at this thing. Yeah, I was about to do that too. You can move up to the helm of the boat, or whatever this is called, and you can fire on him. Oh boy, I did not think I was going to have a risk being attacked. I've been getting nailed on this run. If I lose my clip, I will go ahead and heal up again. And use all my chips. Oh, good thing I moved. That guy came flying through. Holy shit. Whatever, these are free, might as well waste them. Alright, somebody got a good hit on him. Made him stagger there. Reload my gun. And open fire. He's gonna do a ram. shots now. All those little ding noises that are hearing, da -da 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 -da. that's the amount of times that shots are lining through. Rocks coming on the boat. Back up. Right. We're, I mean, we're staggering him a bit. Whoa, that fish just jumped off through him. Well, that's a missed shot. The rocks tried to dodge too. Man, I'm getting nailed this run a lot. I did not expect this to happen. It's also going to be a bit of a long run, so we might do a jump cut or two just to get through this, so don't be upset if that happens. Doing a majestic overhead jump, free willy style, right over the top. Oh, here we go, entering the final showdown. I've still got a cannonball with me. <laughs> I've still got the cannonball with me. Oh, God. I don't want this. I'm just going to get rid of it. All right. Ooh, I almost hit that guy. Okay, so this is the final showdown here. We fight him on the ground. I'm going to load in my pierce shells. Uh, usually, they kind of wait for him to come out of it, because if you kill him while he's back there like that, uh, you're not going to be able to carve him. And you get a lot of carves on him. So I'm going to hang back here with these dudes. They're loading up the weapons. He's collecting ballista shots. This guy is, I don't know, he's just doing his taxes or something. I'm not really sure what, but he's got a sick bow gun. It's cooler than mine. Mine's still kind of cool. So we're just going to wait for the Jenny, the Jen Moran to come. He's kind of slow. He looks more like a lizard out here, but I still like to call him a narwhal, even though he has two... Two big old tusks. I guess the melee are out there fighting them. Maybe that dude's AFK. I don't know. I really don't. Alright, fuck it. We're gonna get in there. Can't be waiting around all day. Alright. Gotta get a little 
closer. Uh, he can also hurt you by just moving you. Uh, you might do a big old swipe. He's moving back. Oh, there goes a the swipe. Here it comes. Alright, seems like everybody got out of there okay. Fourteen pure shots left. He's really moving. I hope that guy is ready at the Dragonator when this happens. Two last shots. Make a ten. Alright. I'm gonna go on to normal S3, which we don't have much of either. And then we're gonna head back to the boat. Nope, that, I think that guy's AFK. Gosh, damn it. Yep, see, he can kill you by moving. Oh, God, please don't kill me. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. He was AFK. Jeez Louise. Nobody's there to use the Dragonator either. I think, I think Lewis is going to go for it. Do it, Lewis. Go for it, Lewis. You can do it. Yeah, he got him. You heard that, that shing sound? That was the Dragonator spiking him in the face. Good job, Lewis. All right. Who goes AFK in the middle of an Elder Dragon fight? Come on. Oh, he's back now. Great job. Yeah, we did it. There goes the whale. Now here's the fun part. You get to go inside of him and carve him at different points. Oh. It's easier to crouch and carve. It, uh, you carve a little quicker. And in this, you kind of need to do that because you need to move through his body as you carve him. all the pieces. Okay. Go. Where's the next card point? Where's the next card point? Where is it? I thought I could carve him in different areas. I was pretty sure I did that before. Uh, okay, maybe I was thinking of a different monster. Shit. I guess that is what it is. So, maybe I fucked up on the car. Maybe I'm thinking of a different monster. It's been a little bit since I played this game. So that's an Elder Dragon fight. That was the Hollowed Jan Moran. There's also the Dire Morales, the Goldbeard Cedius, and um, the Altarion, I think, is the other one. I think there's only four. I could be wrong. I've only had three of the fights. So... Yeah, nothing's really that great. All right, well, that's a Gem Moran fight. Uh, I'm Orga Alligator, and thank you for watching, everybody. Time to save that progress. If you liked this video, feel free to subscribe. Follow me on Twitter for updates and when I go streaming. Also, join my Steam group for all kinds of events I'm going to host. Even if you didn't like the video, go ahead and subscribe, because there'll probably be a better one next week. Thanks, everyone.